Hello everybody, I'm Mila Milani, I'm Associate Professor and the current Head of Translation and Transcultural Studies in the School of Modern Languages and Cultures at the University of Warwick. In this video, I will give you an overview of our teaching provision and the activities in and around translation that we offer. First of all, you may wonder what it means to study translation. I'm sure that you're all familiar with some practice of translation from the languages that you study at school. And you do um, translations uh, as part of your uh, language exercises in order to develop your language skills. But actually, you do translate uh, every day at home with your friends uh, when you reach out uh, to different groups, uh, to different communities or to different places. They may even speak the same languages that you do. But at the same time, they may have different ideas, uh, different beliefs, uh, and you may need to translate uh, your own ideas, concepts and attitudes in order to communicate effectively with them and in order to be inclusive. This process has its own challenges and they stretches beyond linguistic issues to include social, cultural and political factors and that's what we're interested in in translation and transcultural studies at Warwick. At Warwick, we see translation as a broader cultural process, allowing concepts and meaning ideas to move and mingle across cultures and languages. We're really interested to see how translation is theorised and practised in different artistic, political, social contexts and also in different media, beyond the tradition of literary translation to include audiovisual media, news, advertising. We're also interested to see how translation contributes to broader processes of construction of gender, of cultural and national identity, of cultural production and transfer, as well as language policy. So, as you can see already, we're interested in seeing translation far beyond a linguistic perspective to include instead a cultural, social and political view. We're interested to see how translation can be used as an analytical tool to further illuminate broader processes of construction of gender, national and cultural identities, cultural production and cultural transfer, as well as language policy. You can see already that translation for us stretches well beyond a strictly linguistic approach. At the same time, in the School of Modern Languages and Cultures, we are, have um, translation scholars uh, who are certainly interested uh, in different theories of translation, uh, such as feminist translation studies, uh, sociology of culture or sociolinguistics. But at the same time, they are also language experts uh, in the main languages uh, taught uh, in the school. So as you could have already guessed, um, I'm a translation scholar, but also I am an Italian studies uh, specialist. And the same goes with my colleagues in French, Hispanic studies and the like. And this close connection between translation and transcultural studies and the language sections at Warwick really makes our section and our offer distinctive because we are able to offer a practice-based element to our teaching provision as well to our assessment methods as we will see just in a second. There are a number of undergraduate modules in translation and transcultural studies that you can attend if you decide to study with us in the School of Modern Languages and Cultures. We also offer a translation studies pathway for students who are interested in attending modules in translation studies throughout the course of their degree from year one up to the final year level. Our modules are not language modules, but they are actually content modules in which we aim to combine the theory and the practice of translation. Some of these modules include, for instance, the year one module, the translation methods and practice, introduces students to the main principles and theoretical concepts of translation studies, but also to the practical challenges that translators encounter in their practice. In this module, students learn how to critically assess translations and to explore how translation is a process of negotiation between cultures. 
but they also have the opportunity to engage with the practice of translation. As part of the assessment, uh, they complete uh, a translation portfolio of short translations uh, from poems, uh, short stories, as well as uh, advertisements. Students benefit uh, from language-specific seminars uh, in which they can discuss uh, case studies uh, and discuss critically the reasons behind uh, certain translation choices uh, with dedicated language tutors uh, of their language of specialism. The Honours Level module, uh, Translation uh, and Translators in the Contemporary World, uh, look at the role of translation and translators uh, in contemporary society. But looking at the role of translators, but also of editors, uh, publishers uh, and at the target audience, uh, students uh, are exposed uh, to translation uh, as a multifaceted process uh, in which different agents uh, and different perspectives uh, come into play. As part of the assessment, uh, students have to complete uh, an independent translation project in which they retranslate a cultural product, uh, which can be an excerpt uh, from a novel, but also more interestingly, a song, a scene from a movie, an advertisement on a website, or a newspaper article. And they have to explain the reasons behind their particular strategies and choices. The final year translation project offers final year students the opportunity to develop autonomously their translation project with the support of a language-specific supervisor. Students will have the opportunity to further deepen the critical understanding of translation and of the challenges involved. And they can also further renounce their understanding of the languages and cultures they study. At the end of our modules, our students are in a really good position to meet the demands of the current globalized society. They have acquired the necessary skills in order to communicate effectively and productively across cultures. And this enables them to work in multicultural and multilingual work environments. This opens up flexible trajectories after graduation. Some of our alumni went into translation careers. They translate in international organizations. They are freelancers or they are translation project managers. But some others still do translations in other fields, in politics, in finance and businesses, in marketing, and in journalism and the media. But our teaching provision does not limit to undergraduate studies. And this really gives you a sense of the central role that cultural translation has at work. We are a founding member of the Association of Programmes of Translation and Interpreting Studies in the UK and Ireland, and we offer an MA in Translation and Cultures. This MA provides learning opportunities for students who wish to pursue a career in a field related to translation after their graduation, as well as students who would like to pursue further research for perhaps a PhD. Our PhD offers two distinct pathways. One, which is more related to research and theory of translation, and another one which is a practice-based pathway in which students can complete a translation and a commentary. We regularly organize translation activities for our students. In order to encourage students to engage with translation outside the classroom, in 2019 and 2020, we organized the Warwick Prize in Undergraduate Translation. Distinguished judges uh, assessed entries uh, from all over the UK. Students in French, German, Spanish and Italian submitted a portfolio of short translations from songs, plays and children's literature, accompanied by a critical commentary in which they reflected uh, upon their strategies uh, and choices. This really shows that translation uh, can be a critical activity as well as a fun activity. We also organize uh, events with the translation practitioners on campus. We are a corporate member of the ITI, the Institute of Translation and Interpreting in the UK, which offers uh, professional advice and support to students, uh, including workshops, uh, journals uh, and other activities. We also have a regular series of research events. These are open to students uh, who are interested uh, in knowing more about the current challenges uh, of translation theory. This can be perhaps uh, the relationship between uh, translation, politics uh, and the Me Too movement, 
or perhaps uh, the challenges of audiovisual translation with fun subbing uh, on YouTube videos, uh, as well as professional subtitling uh, in the Netflix uh, series. I hope that this overview gave you a good sense of what we do in translation and transcultural studies uh, in the School of Modern Languages and Cultures at Warwick. For more information, you can check our website or please get in touch directly with me if you have any specific queries. And do follow us on Twitter for any information about activities we organise in and around translation. Thank you.